Welcome back to the tech front now. China's largest online ride hailing platform, DD Chuxing, says it's received one billion U.S. dollars from U.S. tech giant Apple. Now, this investment is the single biggest that DD has ever received, and it makes Apple a strategic investor in the company. Apple's chief executive Tim Cook says this move will help the company to understand the Chinese market better. CCTV's Jing Tao tells us more. DD Chuxing, formerly known as DD Kuaidi, after a merger between two market players, now it's a network of 14 million car owners and drivers, and 11 million daily bookings, boasting nearly 3 million users in over 400 Chinese cities. It holds 87 percent of the private car hailing market in China, about 99 percent share of the country's taxi hailing market. Now the behemoth is given a further booster of cash and confidence from across the Pacific Ocean. From Apple, Ye Yun is the public relations supervisor of DD Chuxing. Apple is a benchmark for tech companies. We really respect the company. We believe that the investment will bring in Apple's experience in products, technology, management, and corporate culture, which will be highly helpful in our future development. It was a deal done within a month. Last month, DD's head Liu Qing paid a visit to Apple's headquarters in California and met Tim Cook. Liu joked, "Old companies that have a name of a fruit will attain phenomenal achievements." She explained, "Didi's legal name is Little Tangerine." Twenty-two days later, this one billion deal was sealed. I think Apple has succeeded because it has a great ecology in the mobile internet. Didi Chuxing has also built up a great ecology for car hailing by using mobile apps. The two companies will definitely deepen their cooperation in product development. Analysts say the investment suggests that Apple is placing greater focus on app developers in China, now its second largest market. Of course, the DD app could be an inspiration for the army of Apple programmers in the rising tide of mobile internet. Jin Chao, CCTV.